my account, I'm going to go to YouTube. And this is the video I want in YouTube. So I'm going to put it right here. There we go. And so let's listen for a few minutes and stop it. El hombrecillo de bizcocho. Era una vez un viejecito y una viejecita que vivían en una granja. Un buen día, la viejecita. I'm going to go to quizzes and click on the question. And let's ask a comprehension question. Can you open ended? Well, let's do the first one. <clears throat> let's do um, multiple choice. Save that. And let's keep going. Continue. Un muñeco de bizcocho. Sus botones eran pasas. Sus ojos eran mo. change that to viejecitos so they under if they didn't understand it the first time then they get it Era una vez un viejecito y una viejecita que vivían en una granja Un buen día la viejecita cocinó un muñeco de bizcocho Sus botones eran pasas sus ojos eran moras y su boca una monda de naranja Sus ojos eran Okay. Sus botones eran y su boca era una sus botones eran pasas, sus ojos eran moras y su boca era una munda de naranja. El hombrecillo de bizcocho. So it says you must record audio over the whole video, which I'm not going to do. But if you want to do the voiceover, you can do it that way. El hombrecillo de bizcocho. Era una vez un viejecito y una viejecita que vivían en. Viejecito, viejecita, ¿entienden? Viejecito, viejecita. Personas viejas. It's kind of like input, output, input, output. They listen to a little bit of it and then they interact with it. And so you make sure they understand. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to quizzes. So I already did this one. This one. So let's keep going. Continue. No un muñeco de bizcocho. Sus botones eran pasas. Sus ojos eran moras. Y su boca una monda de naranja. Okay, so we're going to click question and then type in a question. And this time I will have uh, have them write it in. en una bandeja y lo metió en el horno. Pero cuando el bizcocho estuvo cocido y la viejecita abrió el horno para sacarlo, el hombrecillo saltó de la bandeja y salió corriendo. Oh, 
so I'm going to do this one. So, and then I'm going to type uh, four different, three or four different answers, and they have to choose the correct one. I have to choose one to be correct. Let's see, it's kind of hard to, it's hard to come up with wrong ones. Hmm. Save. Pronto el hombrecillo pasó junto a una vaca que pastaba en el campo. Por hoy te comeré, mugió la vaca. Pero el hombrecillo se rió y empezó a recitar otro estribillo. Escapé de una viejecita, escapé de un viejecito. Corre que te corre, correrás. Yo soy de mi coche y corro más. Tampoco la vaca pudo alcanzarle. So here you see, you can upload a link, you can upload a photo, I'm going to upload some photos. It's going to be way too big, let's try 300. Okay, that's pretty good, and it's going to be not correct, so B. So you're, you have to make sure that your photo does not exceed their size image. So I had to make it smaller. And then oh, what I did is I divided it by four. Otherwise, it was just all uh, misshapen and uh, I can't think of the word. OK, so I divided this, the dimensions by four to get it small enough. And there you see it worked. Okay. I wanted to put that up here. Oh well. Upload your image. Uh, it appears that it likes it to be around 300 something size wise. So I had to divide this by uh, 14 times. You can see that obviously Alcanzar, this is the one that they should pick. And this is how it looks. Tampoco pudo alcanzar, alcanzar quiere decir escoge la imagen que me representa el verdad. So, so see, see, this is uh, Oh. See, whoops. <laughs> okay, so I have to edit this because I didn't put A on there. So edit. Save. Uh, well, they don't put these in order. <laughs> hmm, let's try putting the B up at top. It doesn't. It doesn't like it if your image is too big. It likes it to be in the in the uh, three hundred range. There we go. It's still got B on the top, <laughs> on the bottom. But this is moved all the way over to the right if you want to type anything. And then you can type something. So there we go. We're going to save it. And this is what it looks like now. A, B, C. And then the correct answer, of course, is C. Así que el hombrecillo siguió corriendo por los campos y pronto...